the solid-state battery has created a stir in the entire EV industry. On one hand, Elon Musk and Tesla were making claims about their 4,680 cells, while on the other hand, Toyota was quietly writing history. Now, when its prototype came in front of everyone, Elon Musk himself was surprised because Tesla's 4680 battery is nowhere in front of this technology. This is not just a battery. It is a revolution that can solve all three major issues of EVs, range, charging time, and battery life, in one go. Is this the end of Tesla's dominance? Will Elon Musk have to change his plans now? And is Toyota really going to become the new king of the EV world? The answer, surprisingly for some, is yes. But to understand how we reached this point, it is very important to know the story and the technology behind it. So let's move ahead in this discussion. But before that, do subscribe to the channel so that you get the fastest and most accurate information on technology first. Before we dive deeper into Toyota's game-changing battery, let's take a look at Toyota's current EV market position. This is important because a company that was once considered the king of petrol and diesel cars is now showing its prowess in the world of electric vehicles as well. Yes, this is the same Toyota that first started the trend of hybrid vehicles with the Prius. But now, it is also rapidly catching up in the race of EVs, meaning fully electric cars. In 2023 alone, Toyota sold around 1.5 lakh, 150,000, fully electric vehicles globally, which is approximately four times more than its EV sales in the previous year. While earlier, the company's focus was mostly on hybrid technology, now it is rapidly shifting to full electric platforms. What's special is that Toyota is no longer just making its own EVs under its core brand, but is also launching high-end EVs through its luxury division Lexus, such as the Lexus RZ and UX300e. Toyota has made it very clear that it is targeting to sell more than 1.5 million EVs every year by 2026. To achieve this ambitious goal, the company has taken several major steps. It is building separate EV factories in Japan, the United States, and Europe, with a strong focus on developing solid-state batteries. Furthermore, it is working on a brand new EV platform being launched under the name BZ or Beyond Zero. When it comes to EV batteries, Toyota is showing constant improvement. While earlier, Toyota's batteries were slightly behind other companies in performance, the tide is now turning. New generation lithium batteries and cutting-edge solid-state batteries are fast becoming the company's biggest strength. Toyota's battery research division is now active not only in Japan but also in the United States and Germany. The company has publicly declared that it will begin mass production with solid-state batteries by 2027 or 2028. The most fascinating part of this new journey for Toyota is that while other companies either got tired or are retreating after entering the EV market, Toyota is quietly stepping in but is expected to make a major impact in both technology and scalability. So what exactly is a solid-state battery? Now that everyone is talking about EVs, you must have heard the term solid-state battery quite a lot. But the real question is, what exactly is it? And why is there so much commotion about it? Let us understand it in very simple language. Most of the electric vehicles running today use lithium-ion batteries. These batteries have been in use for the last several years and are found in everything from smartphones to laptops, scooters, and electric cars. However, they have a major weakness. They are a little fragile from the inside. Why? Because they contain a liquid electrolyte. This is the substance that carries lithium ions from one electrode to another inside the battery. Now, when this liquid gets heated for any reason, or leaks or comes under high pressure, the battery can explode, catch fire, or get damaged. You must have heard in the news many times that a battery in an EV exploded or that a phone caught fire while charging. At the root of these incidents are the old liquid-based batteries. Solid-state battery technology provides a simple and sure solution to this problem. In this new technology, solid material is used inside the battery instead of a liquid electrolyte. That means the component that moves the ions around is no longer liquid but a solid substance something like a special kind of ceramic, polymer, or even solid glass. What are its advantages? The first and biggest advantage is safety. The risk of fire or explosion in a solid-state battery is almost eliminated because there's no liquid inside. No leakage occurs, no chemical reaction spreads rapidly, and the battery can withstand high temperatures. In other words, it is considered completely explosion-proof and ultra-safe. The second major advantage is the energy density of the battery which means how far the vehicle can travel on a single charge. Solid-state batteries store energy more efficiently, 
meaning a car can travel up to 1,000 miles or over 1,600 kilometers on a single charge instead of the usual 400 to 500 kilometers. Even the charging time is significantly reduced. These new batteries can be fully charged in just 10 to 15 minutes. The third advantage is battery life. Typically, lithium-ion batteries begin to degrade after 1,000 to 1,500 charge cycles. In contrast, solid-state batteries can last for thousands of cycles without significant performance loss. This means that an EV fitted with a solid-state battery could run for years without needing a battery replacement. The fourth advantage is that solid-state batteries are environment-friendly. They're more durable, easier to recycle, and the materials used in them are considered more sustainable. However, if these batteries are so promising, why aren't they being used everywhere already? The truth is, making solid-state batteries is currently very expensive and technically quite challenging. Their manufacturing process is relatively new, requires special materials, and mass production remains difficult. But now, major companies like Toyota, Samsung, and QuantumScape are working rapidly to solve these problems. Toyota has gone so far as to claim that by 2027 to 2028, it will launch such batteries in the market that will deliver a 1,000-mile range and can be fully charged in just 10 minutes. If this happens, it will spark a new revolution in the EV industry. You might now be wondering, why isn't a company like Tesla shifting to solid-state batteries? Well, Elon Musk himself has said that solid-state is a very complex technology, and at present, his team is focusing on the 4,680 cells. Tesla's 4680 battery cells were introduced as a big leap in EV battery technology. The name 4680 comes from the dimensions of the cell, 46 mm in diameter and 80 mm in length. This battery is bigger than previous ones, delivers more power, and Tesla claimed that it would increase the range of vehicles while also reducing production costs. It uses a tableless design technology, which allows current to flow faster and generates less heat. Tesla has started using these in vehicles like the Cybertruck and Model Y. However, with Toyota introducing solid-state batteries, it now seems that Tesla's 4680 technology might be becoming outdated. The entire EV industry is surprised by Toyota's solid-state battery. With a range of around 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers, and charging time of just 10 minutes, it's a game-changer. That means a user can travel from Delhi to Mumbai, perhaps even farther, on a single charge, without needing to stop to recharge. On the other hand, Tesla's 4680 batteries currently offer a range of about 600 to 700 kilometers and take 25 to 30 minutes to charge, even with a fast charger. Moreover, the solid-state battery doesn't contain liquid electrolyte, eliminating the risk of fire or overheating, an issue still present with Tesla's 4680, which uses a liquid-based electrolyte. When talking about battery life, Toyota's solid-state battery maintains performance even after thousands of charge cycles, while the performance of Tesla's 4680 battery tends to degrade over time. Additionally, solid-state batteries perform reliably in extreme conditions, whether it's minus 20 degrees Celsius with snowfall or 50 degrees Celsius in the heat. In contrast, 4680 cells require protection in both cold and hot climates, which can impact long-term performance. There's no doubt that Tesla's 4680 was innovative when it launched. But now, with brands like Toyota achieving real-world success in solid-state technology, it serves as a wake-up call for Tesla. Elon Musk has openly acknowledged that solid-state technology is complex, which is why Tesla hasn't prioritized it. But if Toyota can mass-produce these batteries by 2027 and offer EVs at the same price as today's, Tesla's existing battery technology will be seen as obsolete. Currently, Toyota's battery appears superior to Tesla's 4680 in every key area – range, charging speed, safety, durability, and efficiency. This brings us to the big question. Is Tesla getting left behind? The EV market is evolving rapidly. In this environment, it's not just the brand name that matters, but constant technological innovation. If Tesla doesn't introduce a new battery advancement soon, companies like Toyota, equipped with solid-state technology, could surpass it. What will Elon Musk do next? Will he pivot towards solid-state research or develop a completely new technology that once again revolutionizes the industry? One thing is certain, in this battery race, whoever offers fast, safe, and affordable technology first will become the new king of the EV world. Solid-state batteries are bringing about a major revolution in the EV industry. In the current phase of the industry, they're not only improving vehicle performance but also reshaping the entire ecosystem. The biggest concern so far with EVs has been charging infrastructure. 
People often hesitate to buy EVs because of fears about finding a charging station for long-distance travel. But with solid-state batteries capable of charging in just 10 to 15 minutes and running up to 1,600 kilometers, that problem could soon become a thing of the past. When a vehicle can travel such a long distance on a single charge, there's no need for charging stations every 100 to 2.5.